Hey guys, Demon here doing another Steven Universe review, this time pool hopping. This episode is all about Garnet feeling insecure about her future vision. Although I don't know why because rarely is her future vision ever used in episodes. It has been used in a few and it has been helpful in a few, but the most of the time it's mostly useless. <laughs> I'm just saying. Most of the time, it's freaking useless uh, because it's really brought up. Uh, but, but anyways, this is all about Garnet trying to act random because she can't get a hold of, she can't get a grasp on the fact that all her future visions have been wrong because of all these random things that have happened, like Steven choosing to turn himself in and other things happening. Uh, that she just can't control and she can't understand why her future visions aren't working. Uh, and it's it's a wholesome episode. It's it's fairly good. It has some Steven and Garnet bonding time. We see Vidalia, which is pretty cool. Uh, at the ending, there is a little there's a slight problem I had with it. I, not enough emotion, personally, for the issues she's facing right now. She is crying, and she is trying to, like, evade her relation, her, her emotions. Um, but her emotions aren't really there to, to the point... Sorry, uh, someone's yelling right now. Be right back. Sorry about that brief interruption. But as I was saying, the emotions on this episode... Even though she was crying and stuff and trying to convey her emotions, uh, but it didn't really work out in the way I feel like it should have. We've seen Garnet with emotions before, and it's worked out really well. Like, uh, Stronger Than You Are, uh, the fight scene, her emotions were just, like, spot on. When she was fighting with Pearl because Pearl kept on first order to fuse with her, her emotions were spot on. Uh, There's a couple other instances where her emotions were spot on. But this seemed a little bit forced, um, just a little bit, but you know, it's, it's, I guess you could look past it. Um, all in all, it's a pretty good episode. They saved these kittens at the end. I thought they were going to pick the tiger kitten, but they picked the one eye kitten, uh, which I guess is okay, even though I wanted them to pick the tiger kitten, because that would have been hilarious, seeing lion and a tiger kitten, because then they could have called it lion and tiger. <laughs> See, lion and tiger adventures. <laughs> I'm just saying, but whatever. Um, and the kit and the kitten and lion do get along, so that's pretty funny. Um, although personally, I would have picked the tiger kitten because then you could come tiger and lion, lion and tiger. That would have been hilarious, but no one did that. And speaking of cats, my cat is meowing its head off for some reason. I don't know why. Shush, kitty cat, please. Shush. Anyways, this episode, really well, uh, really good, except for the emotions, kind of felt a little bit forced, felt a little bit lackluster, um, but in the end, she realizes why her future vision isn't working as well as it used to, it's because she still thinks Steven's a child, and he's more adultish now, he's more grown up now, and she finally realizes this, and she's just like, now I understand, like, I keep on treating you like a child when I should be treating you more, uh, like you're uh, more adult. Uh, you're more, what's the word again, um, <laughs> responsible? Uh, I guess like that, yeah. But yeah, she should be treating Steven more adult-like, but she's still treating him like a, like a child, so she gets that at the end and she's like, okay, that's why. Uh, so it's a pretty cool thing to see. Uh, pretty cool episode. Pretty good. I would have picked the tiger cat because then you could have called it lion and tiger. Just saying. I wonder if she's going to feed the cat. I guess she is. Only thing I had problems with was the emotions. Uh, a little bit forced and a little bit lackluster. But pretty good all in all. And also her future versions hardly ever come into play. So... <laughs> That's a little bit stupid. But anyways, that's my review. Hope you liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, dear friends, stay sane. Peace.
Peace.